What up YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Um, today I'm go going to be reviewing the GoPro Hero 7 Silver. Uh, you know, it's a very late review, but I mean, it's 2022. I'd like to see how much this GoPro has aged. And it, it originally came out in 2018, four years ago. Throughout my high school years, I've had it. But, um, <clears throat> you know, pretty much at the very beginning, it was just me and this guy. But, um, so yeah, let's see how much this video, how much this camera has aged. It's, it's a starter GoPro. It really, nothing special to it. But, you know, there's nothing bad about it either, as some people might say. But, I mean, is it worth it in 2022? You'll find out. So right off the bat, as some people are pretty used to these days, no LCD screen. You know, I was kind of disappointed about that. Not only that, you can't change out the, the lens. So if you break it, that's on you. <laughs> but, um, it, it's, it's taken its balls, it's taken some of its hits, you know. The glass has remained the same. The screen has remained the same. Mostly because I had protectors on both, but they've still managed to survive all these years. Um, you know, there are a few dents here and there, but nothing too major, nothing worth freaking out over. Um, first glance, it feels, I like the material that they use. I don't even know what this is. I, I don't wanna say it's plastic, but it's like almost like a rubber type of material. And if it, I, I like the way it feels, you know, I'm just that type of person. But, um, um, you know, like I said, nothing special to it. It's just your a basic GoPro. Um, the mics aren't really all that great either. You know, they when have GoPro mics ever been great, but these weren't really worth being crazy about. So, um, what I know about this camera is it does it shoots in 4K and 1080. There's no Pro Tunes, obviously. You know, it's like I said, the GoPro really intended this to be a budget starter camera. So really, they weren't, you weren't supposed to have like all these fancy type of menu options or any of that uh, flaws. So, one thing that I was really disappointed about was you can't attach any mics to it. So like, even if you have the, the mic adapter made by GoPro, you can't even attach that. Like it doesn't even have any the input and output options, which kind of kills it. But that's not the only thing. The other thing is, is the slow motion and the time lapse are trash. Don't ever use them because you're going to be very disappointed. Um, I've only done it one time and I never again am I ever going to do that because, well, time lapse was, um, that was something else. Slow motion was, it really was jumpy all over the place and it you couldn't even tell if it was in slow motion or if the camera was just glitching. So, uh, as far as time lapse, the image quality just wasn't there. The I recorded some clouds, and they looked all messy and whatnot. So I wouldn't recommend uh, time lapse in slow motion with this camera. As far as video quality, uh, it really depends where you are and what you're doing. Um, you know, in low light situations, it's not the greatest camera. It's pretty much like that on every GoPro, but these in particular, it is not great. So if you're in like sunlight, you know, you'll be fine. And you know, I use this to record a second angle and you know, I mostly use it for when I'm using my wall pedal angle. Sometimes the audio isn't actually that bad, but I really don't use the audio that much on it, if not ever. It, there's only been very few occasions that I've mixed the, the GoPro audio from this one compared to my Hero 8, which is the one I'm using right now. You know, I mix those two audios together and it, and it comes out pretty good. You know, that's just the way it is. Um, as far as taking pictures, it, it's, I have to admit, the pictures are really good on this GoPro. Um, I've taken a handful amount of pictures and they turned out beautiful. I like the way they've looked, they turned out. The clouds were pretty good. The sky was nice and blue, which is how I saw it. And there was one where I took a picture of a sunset when I was in Port Aransas, and it it clearly captured everything, and it caught more than what I was expecting it to. You know, it you can't exactly change the lens on this either. You know, you can't change it from super view to wide to linear. 
you know, it's only stuck on wide lens. So you're gonna get that fish eye look, which is what GoPro is really known for. So let's look into the GoPro. All right, so as we power it on, sometimes it loads the, there you go. <laughs> Hold on, let's give it a second. There we go. So as we power it on, right now it's in 1080 option, but we can, you can change it to 4K. You can't really see it because it's all light, but you can change it to 4K. You can turn on the clips, slow motion, and also zoom in. Um, now I really don't record in 4K, mostly because it, you know, I have this thing where if it, if it starts to heat up a little too much, you know, I'm always a little bit worried that it's gonna overheat. But, um, you know, I've never really heard of any GoPros overheating, but I'm not really gonna take that chance. Um, and either way, even if it's recording at 1080, it still isn't that bad, you know, of a quality, at least on this GoPro, at least. So if we turn it to photos, um, you know, you got the burst option, the timer option, it goes from three to 10. And of course, zoom in. And last but not least, time lapse. Uh, you know, you can record in 4K. I'm not really sure why you would want to zoom in, but you got that option. Just to show y'all, there's no input output options, which is where you would go for changing the mics. You know, it's not even in general. You know, they didn't hide it in there or even in connections. So two other issues that I also forgot to mention was the touch sensitiv sensitivity isn't really all there. Um, you know, sometimes I have to do it more than once. You know, there you go. It's not letting me. And now it finally changed. And another op uh, issue was this camera does crash and freeze often whenever you stop recording or power it off. You know, like it'll just, the screen will just stay on. It will keep uh, looking at everything. There's really no explanation, but the only way to change it is uh, you just hold down the power button for about eight to nine seconds. So I'm just showing you right now. on and then the GoPro will just reset itself and you'll see this screen and then the GoPro will turn back on and maybe it'll even tell you to update it yeah you see I'm not gonna update it right now because I don't really need to but yeah that's really all you gotta do if, if the Hero 7 or maybe even the 7 white does this issue it gets real annoying there's no real explanation as to why it does this it just happens but yeah, now you know, just hold the power button down for eight seconds and you'll be fine. You know, your camera's not broken. You don't need to go trade it in or any of that. You just need to do that. So uh, that's pretty much all that's in here. Oh, like I said, nothing special or spectacular about it. It's just, it's beginner GoPro. At least it was at that time. So back to what I was saying, would I recommend this camera in 2022? Maybe, um, mostly because, you know, this camera's four years old. GoPro's released a lot at that time. Well, yes and no. Um, you know, they have the seven black, the, the Hero 8 black, the nine black, the 10. Uh, obviously, if, if you just wanna get something for your kids or just to have laying around the house and then when you go out somewhere, you know, just pick up the camera and go, this is probably your best option right here. You know, if you don't want to spend anything too much. So if you're just looking to get into GoPro and if you really want to get serious about it, you know, you want to go out, record, uh, you know, mountain bike videos, surfing videos. And if you just want, and if you're just starting out, I wouldn't recommend this. Mostly because like I said, there's no stability on this. There's no pro tunes. You know, the only thing that's really going to help you with that is post uh, editing. But even then, you can only do so much. 
no, the stability is, you, there's nothing that can help you there. Truthfully, I still use this quite often, mostly when I go fishing. You know, this is, I always use this one when I go fishing, mostly because, uh, you know, when, when me and my family go fishing, we take it very seriously. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I don't make any uh, trip films or any of that when I go fishing, mostly because I live in Texas. There's nothing really sp uh, spectacular over there in the coastal region here in Texas, at least not where I go. You know, I go to Corpus, Port Aransas, Rockport. You know, I think Port Aransas is just as good as a location to record, but even then, it's, there's nothing really worth recording over there. So I just mount this on my, my fishing rod and just record my catches. And if, if my catches were worth keeping, then I keep the, the, the footage. If they were trash fish or if they were too small, I just delete the footage and, you know, free up some more space. But I, like I said, I still use this in my, my guitar covers. I still use this when I go fishing. You know, I need to, I, I might even um, take pictures with it more often because like I said, I, I like the way that it, it takes pictures. It's for a camera like this, it was, it takes real good photos. Um, but like I said, if you're looking to go for a slow motion or a time lapse type of camera, don't even look at it because it's not worth it. Um, and not only that, GoPro doesn't sell this or advertise it on their website anymore. Like they don't even advertise the Seven Black anymore, which is which is what I noticed. You know, at this point, they've moved on from it. Um, I, I've yet to really see it in Walmart and Target anymore, at least not in person. You know, they probably still have it online and probably Best Buy too. I've yet to see it there, but like I said, it's probably online. I know for a fact I still have it on Amazon because I still got the link that I always put in my description. Um, not only that is GoPro hasn't really released any beginner type of GoPros ever since the ever since these came out. So at this point, you have you don't really have much to choose from as far as getting starting getting started with GoPro. So um, final thoughts. If you really want to go cheap, I would not recommend the Hero 7 White. Do your research, you know. There's lots of videos out there pretty much downplaying the Hero 7 White. And not only that, but the 7 White doesn't record in 4K. At least this one records in 1080 and 4K. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about this GoPro. Um, I still I still like it since the day I got it, you know. Uh, I still, I, I still take this everywhere with me. You know, you never know when you need it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, if you want to see more of this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below what else you want to see. And I'll see if I can, you know, accommodate you guys. You know, I'm, I'm just getting started on YouTube with this channel. And don't forget to go check out my Hellraiser account if you want to see guitar covers by Metallica, Motley Crue, you know whatever I, I i i lose track as to who who i record or who i redo but yeah go check out that that channel and i'll see you guys later